Hello, this is Don Geyer, lead game designer for Legends of Aetherius. Today, we'll be presenting basic combat. One of the main goals of this project was to develop a rich combat system based on realistic physics calculations and player control. Your hits are counted when your weapon physically makes contact. So there are no random dice rolls, statistics, or percentages. It's all based on actual collision physics. These actions will also be player controlled. Meaning there's no auto aim or auto lock of the nearest enemy. Hits are based on how successful a player aims their attacks. In Legends of Aetherius, we developed a system based on three different kinds of damage. First, we have Shock Force. Shock Force causes knockback and interrupts your enemies. Second, we have Ether Damage. Ether Damage causes persistent damage like burning or venom damage. And third, we have Impact Damage. Impact Damage is your more traditional damage like melee or range damage that simply deducts hit points from your enemies. All attacks, based on their nature, cause some combination of these three types of damage. So let's get into controlling your player through some basic attacks. Basic melee attacks are done by simply tapping your left and right mouse button. To attack something beside you, sidestep in the direction you want to attack and tap the mouse button. To perform a quick lunge attack, move forward and tap the spacebar. To make a power or charged attack, hold down on the mouse button until the attack is charged and then release. These basic attacks work for all melee weapon types. Your character attributes also affect your physical combat prowess. For example, if you add a great deal of strength to your character, the actual force they produce when scoring a hit is increased. The player also has a basic kick attack. This can be a quick and effective method of disabling opponents in close combat situations. There is also a variety of ranged weapons. Hold down the left mouse button to aim. Release the left mouse button to fire. Tap the left mouse button for a quick shot. The weapon will automatically reload when the chamber is empty. You have free movement while aiming. The same controls work for all ranged weapons. Once again, your character attributes can affect your ranged combat power and effectiveness. By adding a great deal of perception, you can increase your critical hit damage when scoring a headshot. Dodging attacks. First we will go over movement with your weapons equipped. Sidestep and hit the spacebar to roll out to the side. 
move backwards and hit the space bar to dodge backwards. Moving forward and hitting the space bar will make you lunge forward. Sheath your weapons using the control key. When you have no weapons equipped, you can move faster but cannot attack. Sidestep and hit the space bar to roll out to the side. Move backwards and hit the space bar to dodge backwards. Moving forward and hitting the space bar will make you jump. Being proficient at dodging and lunging can make you an elusive and formidable opponent. Parry and block skills are vital to learn if you want to master the combat system. Hold down the right mouse button to block. Note that you have free movement in this position. While blocking, you can stab by tapping the left mouse button. While blocking, you can use your shield for an attack by hitting the F key to shield bash. You can parry your block using the right mouse button. Use the left shift button to parry if you have a shield equipped. You have to time your blocks to be effective. This is an early block, while this is a perfectly timed block. Your shield can provide an important defense against ranged attacks. Use your shield to thwart ranged attacks by blocking the incoming projectiles. Dodging, attacking, blocking, as well as taking hits can cause you to lose stamina. If your stamina gets too low, your overall player speed will lower and you can lose the ability to perform certain attacks. Once again, your character attributes can affect your blocking ability. By raising your constitution, you can increase your stamina, which will allow you to perform more actions as well as withstand more blocks and hits without taking a stamina penalty. The ability to perform a wide variety of attacks and deal different types of damage will make you a formidable opponent. Whether you're fighting NPC enemies in single player or co-op PvE, or engaging in PvP combat against live enemies, being able to adapt your strategy is the key to success in Legends of Aetherius. We hope this gives you a basic understanding of our unique combat system. Thank you for your time and look for more developer videos regarding Legends of Aetherius in the weeks ahead.